Hey, what's everybody? Between Streak here in Upset New York. Today we're going to review the Wool 12s. This shoe was originally supposed to come out October 8th, then they changed that release to October 1st, which is this Saturday. We're only getting a couple days before the, um, the review. I mean, before it comes out. Um, okay, the color on the box, it says dark gray, metallic, and silver. These, this box price is um, 200 because it's because the wool is probably more money to make and to make it like this um, than the leather. So uh, that's why you got a $10 upcharge on it. But um, anyway, so this is, um, the shoe originally came out in 96, 97. It's a Tinker Hatfield shoe, the, the 12. Uh, this is all just a brief history. Um, it was modeled after um, all these striations here come from the, uh, the Japanese flag of the rising sun. Uh, also after a, um, a lady's dress shoe, that's where these metal plastic or metal eyelets come up there and, and this built up heel count, heel um, back there. Um, but that's just a little brief history on the shoe. Also Mike wanted the 23 uh, to be written differently and that's why it's written out it, with the two is written out and then it's got the three in the numerical form right there. That shows up there. Um, it's got this lizard, lizard skin here up here on the, uh, on the side panel here. Um, they also use Zoom Air technology on the, uh, it's the first time they use Zoom Air technology on the 12. It's a little heavier, but it's a very, very sturdy shoe. Anyway, just to look at it, like I said, this is wool. This is not, um, you know, this is, I don't think I've ever even seen on any retro. Maybe I could make a, be making a mistake, but I think it's the first time that I've seen wool um, on a retro shoe. And I like it. I definitely like it. I think it, it, it's definitely worked well, um, you know, when I, we just look at it, we, we try to put it up in clothing to, um, to match it up to. And it works very well, so... Um, that, that material definitely gives a, a good look to the uh, to the hookups, um, but they made, they did a really good job. It seemed very well. It's very neat. Um, yeah, it's really really a good job. With that snake skin, lizard skin back here on the side here, this too. Um, it's also got a carbon fiber plate on the bottom. Um, you got the 23 there, Jumpman. Both bottoms here. Just to show you both bottoms real fast. The gray and the black. Those are pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's a, really, it's a really clean shoe, and I like it a lot. I mean, sometimes the material, that nylon um, 12 that came out, the neoprene, it looked nice. Um, I think it sold out very, very fast, and people still keep on calling for it. So, definitely the, the materials um, sometimes only have an effect on when the Jordans sell or not. And I don't think this one's going to either. I think this is going to be a good look, this, uh, this wool. Um, these shoes will sell out really nice. Um, this is a really cool looking shoe. Um, all right, that's, that's the 12s. I'm going to show you a couple hats. These are easy to match up with. Um, this is, that's an NHL hockey hat right there. That looks pretty cool with it. we got a Dallas Cowboy hat right there, and I just do my Long Island hat on top. But like I said, you're gonna, you'll gonna have no problem hooking that up. Um, I had an actually a, a, a wool one. This one here is not bad. Here, this one. Get this one. It's a Philly hat. You, can, you want to fill that pink with it at the same time. That looks pretty cool, just if you want to get some wool into the hat. But yeah, yeah I don't know. I kind of like maybe the basic ones a little bit better. But you can you can do a lot of different things with this shoe. That's why I like about it with the clothing. That wool definitely brings the the the, um, the kicks to the clothing pretty nicely. So um, all right, those are those twelves. Um, we got some shoes here to show you at the end here. Um, you know, pan over here real fast. These are um, these like the, these Dunk Ultras. This is a waterproof Dunk. See, it's got a, uh, a little umbrella there. It's completely waterproof. It's a really cool look. look. It's got a comfortable bottom. I, I tried them on. They're 120 bucks. Two colors. It's got this nice plaid up here. Actually, we've got some clothing that matches perfect inside in the store here. But um, it's a really cool look. They're very comfortable. Something different, you know, for a change. Two colors, 120. Uh, this is this that yin and yang uh, Jordan One. These I believe are 160. They might be coming out with your reverse colors. Um, that that symbol, the black and white. But this is the one that first is coming out. This is the, the white with the black with the swish. This is an Air Max 95 boot. Um, this was out even last year. It sold out right out right away. Um, they went up now to $200. This was a this was a big seller last year. They're coming back out again for this fall. Um, this is the Dave Robinson shoe. Um, the Air Unlimited. It's like a, it's an Hirachi little high top. This shoe, um, if I make, I think it's 150. Yeah. So this shoe is, uh, this has been checking well also. And I just put some Hirachi colors that we got. And these are two men's and two ladies. We sell the ladies. We buy them big sizes to, to um, sell the guys, but they're all 110 dollars. They're doing just new colors in our Hirachi low tops, right there. Okay. There's some, there's some Timberlands we got in here. I use this sheet here because these are all have different release dates. Um, these first three are all 190. Um, this, let's see if I get this right here. 
Yeah, this one comes out, I think, uh, yeah, this one's October 3rd, this one's October 4th, this one comes October 5th, these are all 190. Uh, this is the typical, uh, you know, six inch silhouette, uh, but nice colorways. Uh, this is that, um, that fall festival um, release that they had. Um, the autumn collection, autumn leaf collection, rather, I want to say. So there's a nice, really nice, su subtle colors for, for the fall. This is the Hellcore. This 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 shoe is it's, it's like almost indestructible. You can't like scratch. You can't do nothing with it. This Hellcore material. They had it out last year as well. Uh, they just dressed it up a little bit more. They put the little nylon silver top on it. I like this imprint here of the uh, of the, of the Jordan. Yeah, the Jordan. That <laughs> Jordan's on my head. The Timberland sign right there with the tree. It looks pretty cool. Um, Cause usually it's just embossed like this. So they, they kind of put it. You know, that's usually how it is embossed. But it, it, it's a really nice look. That's also 190. Okay, these. Um, what is this? This is the um, the Brogue. This is coming out October 12th. These two shoes. These are the wingtips. Uh, these were really hot last year. These are 250 dollars. Really nice looking shoes. Uh, like I said, I know they were hot as not really hot last year. Uh, like I said, that's the Brogue collection, uh, which kind of just means um, heavy duty boot or something like that. That's what that Brogue means. But um, yeah, that's their Brogue collection for fall. Um, and this, these last ones here, I think this is the, this is an extension of the um, that autumn mashup. The kind of where they just take took colors and autumn colors and just kind of blend them into kind of subdues them a little bit. But and also, and these are, these are 200, because it's got that nice plastic bottom I was talking about that's very comfortable on. So I think a little more comfortable than the, uh, well, it's definitely softer than the, the Vibrant Cell and the other ones. So that's a, definitely a cool look, that ice bottom. Um, so on those, and those are 200. And those, uh, let's see, those are, that's part of the Autumn Collection. That's probably coming out in November. Well, it's, uh, I'm not really for sure, to tell you the truth. This could be either October 21st, or a November, um, November 1st. I have to wait until the salesman gives me that exact dating, but I just want to show it to you now uh, that it is, this is all the future lineup for September. Uh, they're doing a really good job on all their colors, different colors finally, um, you know, they're, and they're really looking nice. So they're, they're, they're doing a good job, Timberland. Um, I think that's it. Uh, what do we got next? I think the next one is going to be, was it mid October? I think we have that um, all black uh, three. With the white bottom, that's probably gonna be the next one I review. So um, yeah, that'll be it. So take your last look at these wool twelves. These, these are really nice. I really do like these shoes. Um, yep, yeah, that's the last look. All right, street gear out.